Has there ever been a time where there's nothing to do but put on a movie on Netflix or popping in a movie into your DVD player? Don't you think to yourself, what makes them so special? Well, the simple answer to that question is cinema. Cinema, that word means so much to us. When we think of cinema, we think of amazing characters, interesting places, great stories, and even to some of us, incredible music. But what does cinema really mean? Well, Merriam Webster defines cinema as the art or technique of making motion pictures. And that is exactly what cinema is all about. Now that you know what cinema is, now it's time that we look back a little bit into the past, at the infancy of the cinema. Cinema started in the early 1900s when the use of new technology of photography was invented that made an illusion of motion by combining still images. With these ingredients combined, well, the first movie camera was created and with it came the invention of cinema or what it was named back then Nickelodeon. As the world grew around us, well, so did cinema bringing a lot of things into the table, like more dangerous stunts, better makeup, green screen, and computer-generated imagery, also known as CGI. But recently, it seems that cinema has lost a lot of its magic. A lot of movies that are coming out in the past decade seem to have lost what made movies so interesting. Movies used to have interesting characters in the past, characters that struggled and that you could relate to. But now, um, a lot of characters just punch their way out of situations and lay waste of everything right away. Also, films were so creative in the past, with st that stories that seem to be new and creative, but well, most companies just substitute the lack of plot with jokes and explosions. Movie makers in the past tried to redefine cinema, but a lot of new movie makers just repeat what works in the past. Well, now that I'm done ranting about cinema and how it has seemed to lose its ways, it's time that I show you an example of a movie that excels in the art. First, let's look back into the past, 1966 to be exact. This year, a movie that would define the Western was made, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. This movie follows the story of the good in which the movie calls him Blondie, the ugly known as Tuco, and finally Sentanza, but well, he's called In Your Eyes. This movie is great because of three factors its characters, its plot, and its significance. Well, first let's talk about its characters. In this movie, there are three main characters being the good, the bad, and the ugly. Don't, but well, they don't exactly fit their labels. All three don't care about killing people for money or for their personal gain. And none of them is morally in the good. The good? Well, he's given that because he's morally good. Like, better than the other two, if to be exact. The good actually is the one who kills the most people in the movie, more than the bad. Uh, he but he's perceived as a good. And well, this is because his morals are better than the bads, which only kills because he wants to kill. The ugly is a very interesting case because he's not just called the ugly because, well, he's ugly. He's called the ugly because the things that he does are ugly. He tries to avoid crime and justice and kills anyone who stands in his way. But well, he also tries to help his friend Blondie on his perils. And then there's the bad. Despite being a Union sergeant, that in history he's seen as the good guy, he actually just kills because of killing and does it for personal gain. He doesn't care about others and he only cares about himself. He treats the war as a way to make money. Let's now move on to the plot. This movie is based primarily on the Civil War 
of the United States and it's as important to the story as its characters. In that plot we are seeing war as as like a place where there is no good or bad guys and we feel like non sides are in the right and not missing the good in this story. Even the bad being a union sergeant that is in the side of good is ruthless and bolded and doesn't care about his soldiers. They made it as if war was a character in the story. Despite being written by two Italian guys, they really showed us the reality of the matter and they didn't ignore what actually happened in the war and showed no bias. To cap it off, we have its significance. This movie was made at a time where the Western was dying out and was in an old time low. The sense of good and evil in these Westerns were very biased and one-sided. This movie stripped itself from that and showed us the real side of the West, as well as the Civil War. That was disliked at the start by critics, but then grew as a classic as time went on. What a good movie is, well, it varies through the eyes of people, as they say, through the eye of the beholder. But in my opinion, a good film, well, it deals a lot of these points. First, a good film has attention to detail. Even the tiniest of specs, like a lamp, can make a difference. For example, if in a modern film based on the 1900s, you see a modern light, well, that will take you away from the experience. This job is handled by the prop department as well as the makeup crew and the costume designers. They take great precaution to make these parts of the film as perfect as possible and do a lot of extensive research. Another thing is the emotion that a movie gives you. For example, when you see up, you will get a emotion of sadness at the very beginning. And that's because it's intentionally trying to make you feel sad. And that is a great way to keep your audience hooked. This role is handled not just by the actors, but the directors and the editors. A splice that shot in a way which gives you that vibe. Finally, a thing that I think the most important is, is the story. A movie is nothing without its story because, well, without any sense of direction, it's just like a mix of words and the story has no cohesion, it's inc incomprehensible. The dialogue will confuse people and will take you out of the experience. This is not just the most important part, but it's also the hardest because if it's not done right, then the movie will go down and everything will be for nothing. I share to you today the importance of cinema because it's important to our culture. Cinema is not just a mindless form of entertainment for an hour or two. Cinema is an art form. Cinema is just like writing and painting. It's a moving art. Yes, you can read a book, and you can read the story and whatever it says but could you be able to see a duel between a bunch of space wizards or a battle including some of the most interesting comic book characters of all time or even a beautiful planet filled with color and amazing sceneries? Movies can accomplish so much. A single scene can say so much with no words that not only a, a book can do, but sometimes a lot of paintings and this sort get to do. Cinema is a thrill from beginning to end, and you can achieve several emotions and achieve wonders that no other media can replicate. I shall show you how cinema is crucial to our culture and how it has changed our society that we live in. First of all, first of all, it has affected our slang and meal. From time to time, people might quote a, a movie uh, out of nowhere, and it has been so familiar to us that we don't even question it. 
like I saw a beast of baby or made a force be with you. And so also it has helped us change our perspective in our things of our culture. Like social classes that was done perfectly well in the 2009 award winning movie Parasite. And that people in jail are just like us. Um, well, most of them. Which was encapsulated perfectly in the Shakshan Redemption. Finally, it has showed us history and it has showed us a lot of the humans and how we have evolved over time. It has shown us the mistakes and triumphs from the people of the past, the struggles and the evolving world of the present, and the picture of a distant future. If different paths are taken in our search for an advanced society. To end this TikTok, I just want to say that don't just look at movies as dumb or childish or a waste of your time. They're actually special. Movies can create worlds, bring people together, change people, and make them think. Cinema is just not just to turn off your brain and watch. It's a thing to be on. So I beg you, next time that you see a movie, look at it. Why do you like the movie? Why do you not like it? Look further into it and don't look outside. Look deep in the inside. Thanks for watching the video. This this was kind of experimental. Um, I really didn't expect to actually be doing this at home. Um, this is my setup, the green screen, then this uh, thing, this wagon. I was, since I can't really stand up here, it's, I covered too much of the screen. So it's better if I just kneel down on this, on this thing and I, I occupy a little bit of less space. So yeah, thank you for watching.